Hey, just be warned, this is um, one of those types of videos, so if you're one of those people who cry um, about rudeness or whatever, either don't watch the video or stay out of the comments, I don't want to hear it. Um, but yeah, if you like this video, the full video is on my Patreon, along with a bunch of other content, um, you know, so help support my Patreon, uh, the full videos in my Patreon, along with, you know, about 90 other videos that are either um, exclusive, right, like at least like 75% of them are exclusive videos to my uh, Patreon or additional content, like 30% or a whole half a video that was excluded from other content you might have seen, found interesting. If you're interested in sitting, watching the rest or whatever, you know, check it out. Entities exist. Well, is that possible? Um, I mean, you understand like what I just explained though is... Yeah, the, the I point... understand you're saying something like... Um, the default position should be that these entities exist or something. Yeah, and that's what I'm arguing for, is that we should just take them existing as the default stance, and it's actually okay. for you to disprove it. Yeah, that's that's fine, but that's not what I'm asking you to argue for. Like, I'm asking you for the argument that they do exist. Uh, I mean, I don't know. I mean, what? why does reality exist? I guess just because people see reality, right? Like, Oh my god, this guy's slow. I mean, like, at that Look, point... Look, he's just I mean, asking you to present really an argument argue for about. its existence. Like, you... Presumably, I mean, you believe... Really argue about. Well, presumably, you're, like, rationally justified in believing it, right? The proposition God exists? Yeah, I am rationally... Oh, yeah, sure. So right? let's, like, provide, like, the rationale. Like, what are the reasons that, like, warrant the belief? I mean, like, what do you mean? Like, the reasons what do I, for Yeah, it? what are the epistemic reasons that, like, guide the belief and warrant it? You have like justification for I'm, the proposition God exists. I mean, I I, I already explained that it's kind of just the default position, and like okay, but that's not what anyone's asking, right? We can grant it's the default position. We're asking if you have like justification for the proposition. Okay, sure. You so can have it at the position and not be justified in believing it. Okay. Um, if you want justification? I would say. Well, I mean, look, go outside and look at the sun. Okay, well, the sun exists. There you go. Okay, well, you just named a proposition that, um, I mean, well, presumably, you suspect we both believe, which, yeah, I can understand what's the justification. You just said there are trees okay. that exist. There is, are you saying there's, like, a logical well, entailment there that God exists? Are you saying so, it's probability sorry, raising? So, it's so, more no, plausible no, no. to so believe God because there's trees. So what I'm saying is, um, so when we go outside, right, and we go and we look up at the sky, okay, well, the sun exists, right? And it's like, oh, it's a great, great thing. And um, it's worthy of veneration because it's great, greater than us. And, um, you know, when we understand the sun as a personification, it brings us closer to understanding the sun. There you go. There's proof. Okay, well, that's not proof, right? Because that's not like a, an argument. It's not a deductive argument. Um, it didn't seem to have any like inferential type of reason there. I'm not even sure. Maybe you can illuminate what type of inferential reason were you like specifying in the, well, the point scenario? Is, is the point is, is like, okay, well, I'm saying that I worship gods which represent these natural things. So like you're saying, okay, we'll prove that the gods exist. And I'm saying, well, look at these things. They exist. So the, obviously the representation yeah, but that's must be okay, well, in reality. So what's, I'm not clear. What are you saying? If there's trees or natural objects, then God exists. Well, I mean, I'm a polytheist, so like I'm not. Okay, well, that doesn't answer my question. Um. Yeah. Sure. Okay. So, what's the that, argument that's... for the conditional? The argument for the conditional. Yeah. Like if what? there's if... yeah, if there's natural objects, then a God exists. It's not logically impossible. Yes, you have I... natural objects and no God. Um, yeah. So, I like, mean... illuminate the like logical entailment. Okay, I mean, do this so what, Oh, okay. The conversation's just over. Okay, everyone left. Well, um, so are okay. you just not going to answer the question because other people left? You're just going to disengage. I mean, you guys, yo, what are you guys talking about? Can Can you like not? I just don't. Or, I just don't see it as like. Uh, I mean, I don't see. I don't see it as like logical. You it's not logical. It, you just gave a conditional Good. statement without like epistemic warrant for the conditional. If you don't have yeah, a defense no, for the so conditional claim, then that's so fine. So what I'm saying, what I'm, what I'm saying is that, um, okay, well, we have to be like, okay, well, we have things that exist. Okay, well, what, what powers the things that exist? Okay, well, that, that isn't. Exists. That's fine. You can believe that. That, again, isn't like providing me the justification. If you don't have that. Just say. Well, it. I am giving you a justification. Oh wait. So what's the justification for the conditional so claim? The justification. That, is, sorry. Wait. Okay. Hold on. So, if there's, if natural objects, 
then a God exists? What's the argument for the condition? Yes. So the condi- so the reason why is because basically, okay, well, what causes the sun? Okay, well, we can go on to nuclear fusion, right? Or yeah, the fusion. And then, okay, well, what causes fusion? We can be like, okay. That, that wouldn't be an argument. Well, okay, no. Positing explanations. Okay, well, first, no. Arguments okay, deal well, with logical causes, entailment. Well, what causes the natural forces? Well, it's supernatural forces. Okay, that, what does, that's not answering my question. Yeah? Yeah, so what's the no, argument for the saying, conditional statement? So the conclusion of so the I, argument so would I'm be saying, the conditional so statement. So I'm saying you're, you're, what not, are the premises? you're not letting me finish. Yeah, because you're answering saying, the question. Okay, well, so I'm saying, so I'm saying that the supernatural is fundamentally unknown. Okay, what's P one of the so, argument? God, man, you're, you do you not understand the argument at all? Okay. You, I didn't hear okay, any set of premises. Yeah, so, we do. Okay, so so premise one. Yes. Okay. Okay, I'm I'm really not interested in you railroading. An argument is a set of premises and a conclusion. If you're not giving me a set of premises and a conclusion, the conclusion being the conditional statement, then you're providing no argument, right? I'm asking what's the first well, premise I, of the argument. Okay. Well, I mean, you're arguing right now. So okay. So like, what's the uh, argument? P one. Yeah. So okay. So you're you're just, okay. So again, you're just okay. You just don't want to engage. You're asking me for That's the fine. Argument, but you're the one who's okay. Yeah. If you don't want to, I'm not arguing an argument. I don't know what you're talking about. If you're you, okay, you're well, equivocating you're, on you're getting argument. Getting angry. You're arguing. You're sort of you're yelling. you're equivocating on argument. Yeah, I'm getting mad at the yeah, person who's being a retard, you are, you are running away, and not yeah. actually providing a defense for his view. That's fine. I am giving you a defense. Okay, so what's okay? So what? I asked you what P1 is, and then saying. you said I'm not interested in you railroading the argument. Like, yeah, okay. Listen, I'm, I'm okay. Not, I'm not really. So an argument, really just to be clear, is a set of premises and a interested. conclusion. Can you just okay, provide okay. me the set of premises? I don't know. It's well, unclear. The argue, the, you see, the way I understand an argument is when two people get angry at each other, so they start. That's not an argument in terms of epistemic norms i'm talking about you're equivocating an argument me arguing with my mommy isn't me providing a logical argument right there's a sense of which okay, logicians well, speak of you, a logical right, argument so you a actually what's your rational reason argument, to believe right. obviously i'm not using the fucking arguing with my mommy sense of argument i'm using the logical sense of argument the strictly logical sense okay. yeah so a deductive proof is a logical argument i'm asking you what's the argument so it's a set of premises and a conclusion what's premise one well okay so i i, I under Dude, you understand that is this I, I understand premise one or what? Saying. So, so the issue, the reason why I'm not doing so this premise one is if this the reason why you're not no, doing so, this. No, so okay, no, okay. What's no, premise one? The, the, no, I'm not giving you premise. Oh, you're not giving me premises. Oh, yeah, I can see so that. That's issue, actually very clear to me. So you're not giving issue, me premises. So the yeah, the issue is you're not giving me premises. So you're not defending your claim. Wait, did you? I thought okay, so you're dishonest because you said you were intending to defend your claim. You said you're going to provide no, an argument. And now, is, is, now you're doing you're, meta. You're, you're doing you're meta garbage and not providing the argument. No, 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 no. no, no, you no know, you're not doing meta. Whoa, 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 so you're giving me premise one of the argument. Then, okay, so what's premise one of the argument? Okay, okay premise one. Why do you? Why do you? Okay, premise one. Okay, go ahead. Premise one. Why? 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 Okay, premise one. Okay, what's premise, premise one? one? Reality exists. Premise two. Um, everything in reality has a more fundamental force which supports it. Okay, that's premise two. Okay, premise three, the most fundamental force is the supernatural. Um, premise four, we don't really know the supernatural, right? It's unknowable because we can't we can't discern the most fundamental force using our physical abilities. There you go. Okay. So first, what's the argument for P2 and P3? That the supernatural okay, is the most fine. fundamental and then P3 being... That, well, because um, that's how I'm defining it, right? So the most fundamental thing that causes everything... Oh, so then what's the argument for P2? That everything that exists what, has a more fundamental explanation. Okay, well, because but that's just obviously term, right? no, I, I so for, don't grant for that. For example, now first I'm going to well, deny the example, PSR, so I don't know why I would accept the PSR. So, okay, so for example, right? So let's say the sun. Okay, well, why does the sun shine? Because of nuclear fusion. Well, that's not okay. You're just giving examples of things that are explained. Let's forces. not do this. Okay. So, so the main point is. Do you think what you're doing is relevant to the dialect? So as we're, yeah, I'm. So I'm, I'm giving. Wait, you, how's it I'm relevant to the dialectic? Argument. You're not giving me an argument. Okay, so okay, what's premise I'm, one? Okay, so do you, do you, okay. Do and you this is the argument how, for like, P two. So do you not know how like actual conversations work? Do you not know how actual arguments work? Do you not? Like, an argument's a set of premises and a conclusion. Okay, so once you derail, so I notice is, you're derailing. I'm gonna keep it linear, and I'm gonna put you on a leash with a dog. The dog you fucking are, the okay, intellective well, one. I'm not, I'm not okay, run away. Then run away. That's fine. You don't know what an argument is. That's obviously like obviously anyone who no, thinks, no, oh, you're not. You, so you obviously you're, don't know logic 101. Right. You don't know what an argument it's is. Not, you never heard of no, an argument you're, you're until now. You thought an argument was getting loud and mad. You thought an argument was getting loud and mad. Based in reality, no. I'm not providing an argument for anything. What are you talking about? 
No, because because basically I'm trying to give criticisms of your argument. I'm not convinced of the claim. So I'm asking what's the argument for the claim? Are subjective. These are subjective principles that you're using. How's that? Okay, employee. how does that matter? Um, it does matter because you're basically yeah, you're forcing me to argue in your subjective way of arguing which you consider to be like Okay, so what theory of the logos are you using? If you're not using classical logic, what theory what theory of the logos? If you don't know what that is, then shut the fuck up. I'm explaining it to you. Okay, well, I'm asking you no. I'm asking you what theory of the no. logos are you using? Like no, what I'm, logic I'm, system? I'm telling you. I'm telling you that what you're. Okay, what system of logic are you using? Okay. Oh my god, man. If you don't want to subscribe you're... to minds for the sake of the dialectic, what logic are you using? Um, I'm using classical I'm logic. Saying, no, so the argument. Okay, what logic are you using? Is, so the point is, is that actually reality just isn't necessary. I don't give a fuck about this. I'm asking you what logic are you using. You're saying you don't want to use my subjective logic. What logic system are you using? It, okay, what logic system? Yes, I'm just using, name the logic. Name the logic. I'm, I'm using I'm using the logic of the English language. There you go. English language is not a logic system. Obviously, yeah, you've is. never read logic if you think this. Well, I'm, do you I'm know never, what logic I'm is? Never... What do you think logic is? Go ahead, define logic. Like in the field, like the field okay. of study, logic. What do you think logic intends so logic, to do? So logic is when you may basically you deduce something based on things which you already know. I'm asking right. you what the field of logic is. Okay, so f the field of logic is when people come up with things to support their claims about- Okay, others, you don't know what the fuck you're talking about. That's fine. Don't you don't know, know logic. That's fine. So let me know. just ask you to further embarrass you. What other, what material on logic have you read? Because you're obviously formally educated. Because I'm formally educated on logic. I've read also a number of books so, and I actually know PhD, so logicians. Not, so so not, let me just ask so you, not, uh, let me just ask so you, what, actually, what logic have you read? What material on logic? Okay, well, Okay, so none, I'm right? A linguist, okay, none. You don't know. Right? Okay. Funnily enough, you don't know anything about logic, right? So you're talking outside no, of the scope of your knowledge. So That's fine. The thing is, That's fine. You're a linguist. You can be. Like, you can be an artist and go ahead and talk calculus and embarrass yourself. You obviously don't no, know what so you're talking about. So you're out of your the depth. Issue is, the issue is that you don't know logic, and you're not most, proposing an argument. So most, then you're saying because most, my arguments, um, most my logical, my logic most subjective, logical which doesn't doesn't turn on anything. Apparently, policies. you don't want to like, like argue. Almost, almost the entire field of like philosophy has been debunked by modern linguistics. Like, oh really? How? Um, just generally, you use like logic, like linguistic fallacies throughout the entire field. Like even the most basic things are actually just linguistic fallacies. Okay, like what? Um, so for example, right. Um, also linguistic first, you... first fallacy is a logical notion and linguistics just deals with philosophy of language. Yeah. So, well, you're just, you're yeah, just there wouldn't be no linguistics without philosophy of language. So you're a linguist yet. You know that apparently all of philosophy has been basically debunked, right? And what established, you know, under, you understand that, I didn't, I didn't say you know, that preliminarily that there has to be a philosophy of language before there's of, a linguistics, right? Okay. So you understand so ling is... linguistics is a subjective normative system. Dummy. You talk about, so all the wait, but you complained, wait, you complained you don't want to use logic. Subjective. You complained you didn't want to use my logic because it's subjective. That was your linguistic framework. Yeah. So Are you a realist about linguistics? Have an objective wait, no, no, wait. Logic no one claimed that. No one claimed that. No one claimed it's objective. No one claimed that. Stop pulling shit why, out of your you're, ass. You're for, then, then why are you forcing me to use your specific system? Wait, because I am. It, okay, wait, what do you think? Because it's justification? the... Ju justification. Justification is a logical notion. It, it, you're Presumably, you're a linguist. So you know that frameworks aren't justified. They're, they're fundamentally axiomatic, meaning that they're normative. They're not objective. Okay, cool. We're not, we don't discover them. We formulate them. There's not like a, okay, an cool. objective symbol that must correspond with axiological value like in mathematics. Like the plus symbol like corresponds with like are you retarded no, no system so you're a linguist you an, linguist i'll give you an example of presumably you're a qualified linguist in the field right wait no, no wait hold on you're a qualified linguist right you have a degree yeah. okay so yeah. you must have took a philosophy of language class no okay so you know that linguists you understand linguistics is subjective right stupid yes, I'm oh wait but then you can't be talking about linguistic fallacies why would i have to why would i have to appeal to your linguistic system if it's not objective retard retard because this is your logic this is your language. retarded so, reasoning okay so, so it being subjective doesn't matter i don't know what you're talking about if it's not if it's not objective then you can't appeal to some system of logic what's the argument for that so basically when we speak english we use a certain set of words that are societally defined and we come to agreed definitions of them based but it's, on it's subjective so it's like why do i have yeah, to subscribe I'm, to your linguistics yeah Okay, so it could be I'll wrong you, because it's not it's so subjective. I'll give you an example of something. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't want, I don't want an example of anything. I want an argument why I should subscribe to your linguistic subjective system. Um, because okay, why should you subscribe? Yeah, like to what's the argument? What's the argument?
Because because you because basically you P1? already have to use it to speak. Okay, what's P one? So the P one. No, you don't. Also, that's also that. that's also just like just an errored belief because you can be a nihilist or an eliminativist or quiet about linguists li linguistics. So you can actually so P1, eliminate so P1, linguistics so P1, entirely. You can be a limitivist. So P one, we're both speaking English. P two, therefore, we're using that doesn't mean there's system. wait. You using language doesn't mean you're subscribing to any linguistics. Does it well, follow? Actually, yes, it does. Because oh, okay. So what's the argument? Oh wait, no, no, no. Okay, so what? No, no, wait. No, no, no. What's the argument? Yeah, I don't want you to ramble. I don't want you to make claims and then ramble and think that's justifying because it's not. Okay, what's the argument for the conditional? If I use a language, then I'm subscribing to a system of linguistics. Yes. Okay. You're so P one, P one. Subscribing to you're, you're subscribing to a way of. Is that P one? Wait, just clarify the premise. Okay, premise one, right? What's premise one? So okay, premise one is. We're speaking English. Okay. Okay. You follow me? Oh, I never I agreed. Right. Lay out okay. the entire argument. So premise one, we're speaking English. Premise two. Premise two. I, uh, when you speak any language, it forces you to think in a certain way based on the vocabulary available in that language. Uh, premise three, since we're both speaking English, we're both using the same linguistic framework. Okay, what's well okay, well the argument's a non sequitur. I don't know if you know okay. it is a non sequitur, right? If you want I can represent okay. it. Do you know what uh do you know well you don't know logic, so I don't even I don't even think so, explaining yeah, is, I, is I, worth my time. So, yeah, but the so argument's not valid. Sequitur means it doesn't follow. Yep, the, the argument's path, not right? valid. Correct. It's not valid. <laughs> okay, cool story, George. Yeah. Like this is just very basic, like how things work. Yeah, you're just, like, embarrassing yourself. How? Oh, first, not knowing logic, then trying to present arguments, and then presenting invalid arguments because you don't know logic. Then say, oh, well, I'm not going to use your structure of argumentation because it's subjective, which doesn't turn, that makes no sense, right? Even if you're a realist, you can okay. say that same shit. It being subjective doesn't mean you're, like, obliged to using it, right? It's just under that system, okay, well, it's not valid. Now, I can, I can agree other, you, under other going, systems, it might be valid or invalid. Like now, wait, how's it, wait, how's it pseudo? How's, wait, 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 how's it pseudo? How's it pseudo? It's, it's pseudo because he didn't understand my original argument. No, it's because your argument was invalid. No, it's because your original argument was invalid first. And I asked for a defense for P2. Why is it invalid? I mean, P2 and 3. Oh, because it doesn't actually follow. That's what it invalid means. Well, it does. Okay, so then go ahead and tell me what rule of inference the argument constitutes. Okay, so do you not understand how, like, the real world works? Um, that doesn't answer my question. Nice dodge. I'll ask it again. What rule no, of inference... No, I genuinely... Okay. Oh, yeah, that's that's so fine. Course, no, no, that's fine. So what rule of example, inference? If I say... Is if if, I wait, say, do you take it... Do you take it your initial argument was valid? So if so if I okay, so dodge. For example, you're so if I you're so impressive. The sun rises every you day, look so well in this conversation. That proves yeah, so if, if yeah, I you do. I know. Day, we agree. Therefore, the sun will rise like a tomorrow. retard. Okay, that doesn't follow You're literally a retard and embarrassing yourself. That's correct. No, you just you just don't know. What no, you just don't know logic. Oh no, I know no, what I'm talking about. The argument's you invalid. You don't, you don't even know like the very basics of like of how what? to argue or how to use the English. Um, I language. do know logic. Yes, I do. I know classical logic, so I okay. actually do not argue. Okay, cool. I know you made an okay. invalid argument. That's, it is invalid. It's okay, a non sequitur. Why is it invalid? Oh, because it doesn't constitute any rules of inference. Okay. Cool. Okay, so it's invalid. What's your point? Uh, the okay, argument doesn't so, follow. Okay, great. Now get the not? argument, um, no, because, because there's no rules of inference that constitute. You haven't. You, haven't you, you can't even explain why it's not valid. You're just sort of. Throwing I I just did. I said it's not valid in virtue of the fact it's not constituted by rules of inference. What are you guys talking about? The fact is, argument's okay, so, invalid. So if I so if I make the argument that so if I make the argument that you're stupid because you don't know what you're talking about, does that not follow the rules of inference? What? No, that's not even an argument. Presumably, there wasn't yes, a set of premises. If I say oh wait, what, okay, so you don't know what you're talking so, about. So okay, so that's a good argument. so what are the set of premises and conclusion there? Uh, they, why okay, is that so the premise is you don't know what you're talking about, and the conclusion is you're stupid. Wait, you, that's oh, an oh, argument. The smallest unit of an argument is syllogism. That's two premises. You know, call each other names. I, it's like not relevant. Okay, Jordan. No, well, he he just doesn't he doesn't. No, know this is embarrassing address, himself. Like a, he doesn't you, know how you don't to know how to make an argument. argument. No, you don't know how to make know an how argument. To address like very basic logic, like you admit it. You don't know logic. What? No, like I. I you admitted I've you don't with, know formal logic. With... You don't know logic. No, I've. I've you didn't make a valid argument. Hey, you admitted hey, you don't know what a rule of inference is. Hey King, just because he's not philosophically inclined doesn't mean you he's, have to call he's making retard, no. He is a retard. You know why? And I didn't say he's a retard because he's not. I no 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 no. I never said he's a retard in virtue of him not knowing philosophy. 
the reason I said he's a retard is he said I don't care if the argument's invalid. Hold on, I'm not done. I'm, like, yeah, well, the reason I'm calling him a retard. Hold on, the reason. Too. Yeah, look. Okay, look. The re yeah, exactly. The reason why I said his argument's invalid or why he's a retard is because he said I don't care if the argument's invalid under classical logic. I'm not. Why are you over talking me? Can you down? I'm trying to explain why I said he's a retard. The topic is okay. what is his. We're just talking about whether he's justified in believing in God, right? So I asked him, "What's the argument?" Since he said he has an argument for God, right? Then he gave yeah, me the I argument. Gave very, he gave me an invalid argument. Very, then, no, yeah, I gave him a very argument. like hey, solid hey, hey. following argument. One, two, three. The argument hey, was hey, invalid. Was the argument? Oh, the what argument was, was. Here, I have it written down. He said reality exists as P one. P two is everything in reality ha exists under some more fundamental um, substance. P3, supernatural no, is the most fundamental force. substance. Yeah, same shit. Force. He said P3 is supernatural is the most fundamental force. Conclusion, if there is nature, then there's supernatural that explains nature. Yep. Yeah, the argument's not valid. Argument. Yeah, well, if you, it is valid because that's just No, no, it's not. If you want, I can symbolize the argument into, you know, first order logic and I can show you how it's invalid. So Okay, you can explain, but before you do Okay, that, but I already explained. Just... It doesn't have a rule of no, inference no. that constitutes so the validity. The, issue, so the, issue the argument's is not valid. This, right? So here's the issue, is that's how I define what the supernatural is. I don't care. The, the point is the argument is not valid. Invalid. No one's talking so about your definition. Is, so to call it invalid is just wrong, because if I call the most fundamental thing Wait, supernatural, what? then you can't actually argue against that. Do, what, do you think, what do you think valid means? Okay, what, what do you think valid means? No, 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 no. You said that apparently you know what, you, what you're talking about. You don't. Mean by valid here when I say the arguments invalid, and then the reason you say it's valid is because you're defining words certain ways. That doesn't fucking matter. Okay. The way you define it's, terms doesn't so change the validity a, of the it's argument. A strong, it's a strong, healthy argument. That's what valid means, right? What the fuck does strong, healthy argument means? No logician uses it, these it, words. Well, it's, it's not a, it's not a weak argument, right? So a weak argument would be one that's sort of just stupid and doesn't follow. A strong argument is one that does follow. The argument doesn't follow. Well, why not? Do you know what it means for an argument to follow? What do you think that means? Well, okay, so the one point follows the next point, it follows the next point. Right? That doesn't answer me what you mean by follows. To be clear, what follows means in logic is that it's constituted by a rule of inference. Your argument has zero rules of inference. If you want, you could search up a wiki. Literally look at the, since you're so such a low cow, search up the, the list of rules of inference, and you'll see that your argument's not constituted by any of them. In fact, you wouldn't even know how to regiment your argument into symbolic logic. So you wouldn't even know how to understand if the argument. You don't know what the fuck yeah, you're I'll talking about. Now, I don't understand. look, I wasn't, I want to explain to you real quick, F, because I didn't say he's a retard because he doesn't know what he's talking, or, uh, doesn't know philosophy, or that his argument's invalid. He said that, I don't get the argument's invalid because you're using classical logic, which is subjective. Then later, he talks about linguistics. Then I say, but linguistics, if you, he says he's a qualified linguist. I say, wait, then you took philosophy of language, linguistics is a subjective normative framework for language. And then he's like, yeah, I know it's subjective. I'm like, so I don't need to subscribe to your criticisms of, ling of linguistics. That's that's what I'm talking about, the hypocrisy. That's why I called him a retard. The fact that he said yeah, if a system is subjective, I, I don't have to subscribe to it. His, his then he makes criticisms doing valid, the same thing. By the way. Sorry? His argument wasn't valid. Yeah, it was. But no, just don't call him just try to retard though, you know. So what You're was lagging invalid a lot. about my if you so if if there was anything invalid about my argument, it doesn't have any rules of inference. It. it doesn't have so any rules would, of inference. You would be able to explain what was invalid about it. I don't know what he what is what is invalid about so it? It doesn't just, have rules of basically inference. Basically, you're just saying it's no rules of inference. Okay. Yes, that's what validity so means. It's constituted by rules of inference. Okay. If you read okay, natural cool. deduction, so, you will know that inference so, so constitute example, the structure and the syntax of an inferential uh, expression. Okay, so for example, if because uh, I've done aerospace on the side, I, I don't give a shit. Really into it as a hobby. They don't teach you logic no, in aerospace. You, I'm giving you an analogy, right? I don't so care for like, an analogy. For example, your argument's no, invalid. This is a Can we talk about the fact your argument's invalid? Okay. Okay. So, um, so is there an inference so I, so, rule you're aware of? Uh, okay. What's your point? Is there an inference rule you're aware of that constitutes the argument? Okay. So, what's your what's your point? That's is that a yes or a no? What's your point? I'm asking you a question. Answer. No, I want you to explain. Why okay, I'll answer your question know. after. Yeah, because we look we, questions preliminarily. The person who first asks a question gets his question answered. Next person gets theirs. We're not going to jump to the second well, question. I, I now, I asked first, no, I asked first, what is the rule of inference? That is, no, is that there I any rule of inference like that constitutes minutes, the argument? No. no, you didn't. Now, is there any rule of inference that constitutes the argument? Okay, cool. Okay, okay cool. So, so you're just going to dodge. That's fine. Okay, so you, again, you're, you're, you're asking me for rules of inference. Okay. I'm well, just asking you if you believe your arguments constituted I don't, by I, rule of I inference. Don't, I don't know your rule of inference. Okay, there you go. 
uh, my rule of inference. I'm asking you if you take it your arguments constituted by rules of inference. I don't know what you mean by Wait, your Alfred, rule of inference. If you're, Alfred, if you're making an argument, he's just asking you for the inference of the argument. That's all, it's, that's all he's Look, saying. Look, he doesn't, he's making the claim his argument's valid. He didn't know what valid means. Then he also doesn't know what rules of inference are. Then he's asking me what rules of inference are. So you don't even know if your argument's valid. All right, let's just admit that you're not okay, so, actually so humble. Inference you're is a just pseudo intellect. You something. No. So inference is when you infer something. Uh, like that's like, that's not what an inference rule is, but yeah, trivially, okay. inference is to infer something. What the rule? fuck? Okay, so basically, when you deduce something, you're just you're saying that you, to be some predicate is to instantiate the predicate. You're, okay, yeah, that's, that's, that's a like, trivial I, expression. I, I went okay, down, but the down, argument wasn't valid. Okay, that doesn't. Okay, you made an invalid like, inference. Yeah. You, you notice? You notice how you've been waffling on and on? I haven't been waffling. I've been criticizing and you know making fun of you for the fact you don't know what you're talking about. You're pseudo intellect. You haven't given an actual an argument for why it's invalid. If, Wait. if it was an invalid argument, you would have been able to give a reason for why. Are, are you stupid? Okay, look. So No, because you're just saying rules mm -hmm, of inference. Mm -hmm, if I say, mm -hmm, no, it's like if mm -hmm, I, it's like if, yeah, if I mm -hmm. just kept on saying, okay, well, you, you're, what you're saying doesn't mm -hmm. follow the laws of... Yeah, so validity, okay, when you make, right? yeah, so when you make, just, just okay, just keep rambling, just keep rambling. Mm -hmm. able, mm -hmm. Yeah, so throwing yeah, keep out rambling. a term mm -hmm. without actually being able to describe what you're referring to and what particular thing breaks that rule of inference, that's a sign of low... No, it's just a fact it's constituted by no rules of inference. The pseudo intellect is the one who's making. Oh wait, but making the claim it's valid, not knowing vo what validity is, not knowing what rules of inference are, and then still that, making well, the claim it's valid what isn't. Is, and I just, and I guess oh, what is it? Okay, so what is validity? What is validity? What is so validity? validity is an Informal. Is strong and it follows. No, and okay, let me ask you: What logician defines it that way? Uh, me. You're a logician. Oh, well, now I am. Oh, okay. So where is your qualification? Uh, me. Okay, so you are a pseudo intellect. That's fine. Yeah, saying me, me. Oh, I'm. I know calculus. I'm a calculus certified. I'm certified as a as a mathematician. Okay, so why, like you're so you're why, you're not as. I'm, so okay, do I, I'm a pseudo you know intellect logic? because I know rudimentary so, logic so one one, so and so because you're okay, making claims about you're logic and you don't. You're defining. You're, you're, you're not a pseudo intellect. A so you're not a pseudo intellect. Wait, wait, wait. So you're not a pseudo intellect. Wait, you're not a pseudo intellect. You're you are a certified. Wait, you're not a no, pseudo intellect so when you say I'm a certified logician defining, because I said so. So defining what words Okay, mean great. Is, okay, yeah. So you're definitely not a pseudo intellect. You made, yeah, definitely. So you made, you made, no, no, you we made agree. You're certified. No, we we no, agree. You're a certified you logician. Made the fallacious, so you made the You don't know what fallacious are. Don't don't even bring no, up fallacies. No, so you made so so here's the issue. You made the fallacious argument that I need to be whatever the fuck that is to um a logistician, right? To make <laughs> logistician. Yeah, so you, you made you made a fallacious argument. I didn't make an argument. Saying, oh, hey, I can't make no, a fallacious because, argument without making no, because, an argument. No, because the point. No, is, I didn't make an argument. You're saying that I need to have this. What was my argument? Qualification. No, you exactly. You, no, because no, no because no, because you're stumbling. No, no, I didn't make an argument. No, you 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 just keep on interrupting. Yeah, I didn't make an argument. I'm just gonna keep on going. I'm just gonna keep on. Keep going on saying more nonsense. That's fine. Waffle, waffle. No, I'm gonna keep on. Waffle going like a toaster. My point across. Right. So yeah, go ahead, pancake. Waffle. The, the issue is this, okay? <laughs> it's so funny i'm gonna giggle like you, a like a little queer look you're intellectually deficient you're no, intellectually you deficient in this area you're out of your depths unequipped getting spanked by me and this is being recorded no, decided, and then, then you want to act like i'm a pseudo intellect yeah oh my god when actually you're the one who's not qualified to make a definition of a word i am you're not mm -hmm. qualified to make definitions of words you're not a linguist I'm, uh, I, okay, well, what's the argument? You're if you're not, not a linguist, qualified. then you're not qualified to make your own definition. Yeah, well, well, you're the one. Look, you're gonna fail to make another that. valid argument. No, you're saying, you're <laughs> oh saying, my you're god! That I need to you're gonna fail to make another you're valid you're argument. You're gonna make an argument. Logistician. Then you're not. You're not. No, look, you're do you know what a conditional statement even is? Qualified and have a logistician Wait, define a logistician. Yeah, that's definitely a word. Okay. Well, do you do you even know what a conditional statement is? Yeah, so conditional statement is well. If this is true, then this is true. Right. Very simple. Oh, okay. Yeah. So you know what a conditional statement is, but you don't know what rules of inference are. What you just read, okay, like well, half of wiki or something on on logic. So an in, no, an inference. Doing your is, So an inference is when you decide. No one's talking about what the definition of an inference is. Else. I don't know. You're derailing. The rule of inference would be a rule. Wait. Okay. Look. Do you have a defense for the claim? Inference. Yeah. Sure. Do you have a defense for the claim that if you're not a logician, then you can't make definitions? Well, you were the one who made the argument, or I, I didn't make an argument. Some... Yeah. Well. Okay. What so argument did I make? What was the set of premises so and argument, conclusion so, I made? So you made so you made a uh, an implied argument. That's no, I didn't make any argument. Yes, you did. You okay, implied, so you implied. Yeah, what I was my implied premise one? No, you you implied that I didn't have the qualification to give you a definition of what valid meant by asking. Okay, I never talked are, about your and, qualification. And then,
Yeah, so that's what well, you did. You talked about I'm a I'm a certified linguist. I never brought up me being a certified logician. No one. I said okay. I early in the from the outset of the conversation, I did say I'm formally educated in logic, but I never said anything about okay. my certification. Right? That doesn't fucking matter. Okay, cool. Yeah. So no one did cool. what you did, where you said I'm a certified linguist. So you're wrong. That's what you did. I never brought up anything okay, cool. about my certification, meaning you're wrong, or that you're not okay, certified. So you can't have proper definitions so about validity. So I said your definition of validity is just saying, not how it's defined so in contemporary so logic. So again, you, you notice how you still haven't actually been able to define exactly what I did that didn't follow. What do you mean define a definition? is just like the semantic content associated with expression. What are you talking about okay, define? So it's invalid so because again, it's not I'm constituted by rule of inference. I'm asking you to point out what I did that didn't follow instead of just giving. I'm, a okay, so I'm pointing at the inference, the entire inference structure, right? So the whole argument as a total, it's not constituted by rule okay. of inference. That's how it's valid, okay, invalid. Why? Why? What why are you asking why for? I'm asking you, why isn't it? Why isn't it what? You haven't given an explanation for why it isn't. Why it isn't what? Why it doesn't follow the rules. Of oh, it doesn't and follow. This is. Wait, like, you take is, it. It I follows. Asked you, okay, look, I've been look, asking okay. You yeah, look, yeah, look, 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 I'll explain. If, if yeah, look, if we do conceptual analysis, this whole if we do conceptual analysis, we do conceptual analysis. There's no modus ponens. There's no modus tollens. There's no disjunctive, okay, no disjunctive like, introduction. Mode, mode and there, right. There's there's literally no rule of inference. You can look at the wiki list of rules of inference. It doesn't actually adhere to any of them. That's how it's invalid. Okay. And if you want, since I know you know jack shit about what you're talking about, you just are a student intellect, unironically projecting, I will literally symbolize the argument for you. And then you can go yourself and look at the wiki list of rules of inference, and how the argument's val invalid. You want me to do that for you? Sure, go ahead. Okay, great. And this is all being recorded, by the way, and it will be posted. But that's fine. Wow. Wow. Yeah. Okay. So, so P one is <laughs> reality exists. Um. <laughs> okay. Well, reality is not a predicate. Neither is real. So the first premise is not a well-formed formula. <laughs> I, uh, oh my God! This argument's worse than being invalid. It has expressions that are not well-formed formulas. It's not even a matter of them being okay, invalid. So, they can't even so be regimented into logic. It's not a well-formed formula. No, so it's not a well-formed formula. Okay, so we can. Okay, well, so we can. Uh, okay. My brain isn't a well-formed well formed formula. You, what does that mean? Yes. Because, what do you think I, a well-formed formula is? I mean that you're. I mean that you're going off. What do you think a well-formed formula is? It's not irrelevant. It actually turns on the. It's not irrelevant. So well -formed formula, it's wait, wait, wait. No, no, let's calm down. It's not irrelevant because the validity does turn on whether the argument is successful. Wait, wait, wait. Why did you say it's irrelevant? Wait, why did you say it's irrelevant? If your argument's invalid, the argument's unsuccessful. Of course that's relevant, right? The critiques of validity are actually very pertinent to, so to the again, argument, again, having this dispute, is, is stupid, stupid head. Is real, is not a well -formed Look at formula, Airhead. So no, Airhead, you said that it's irrelevant. How is no, the said, argument I being said, invalid I said, irrelevant? I said that you're, I said that you're and then you said my brain's a well, oh, not a well-formed well formula? formula. That's you think you sound funny? You, you sound like a retard. With the statement. And if you do that makes no sense. You sound like a retard. You're not worth talking to. No, you're not worth talking okay, to. Okay, you're not either. You don't even know what a okay, well-formed so, formula is. Okay, well, okay. Cool. You, you can't make valid arguments. I don't need a... Why would I need to make an argument against your argument? That That's already doesn't follow. No, it, it that doesn't follow. No, it doesn't follow to make an argument unsuccessful. No, actually, it doesn't follow. It doesn't follow to no, demonstrate that an argument's unsuccessful. That you, that, that you have to make a counter argument. In fact, you can do Alentius or Apora critiques, but since you don't know philosophy, you don't know what Apora or Alentius critiques are. Criticisms of arguments can illuminate the insuccessfulness of an argument, the ill success in an argument. You don't actually have a counter argument. A counter argument is to illuminate that the proposition is actually the truth value of the proposition is the contrary. That's what you use a counter argument for. No, this is genuinely what you, like wait, the you said no? nonsense like waffle I've ever You said heard. no? Because if you actually knew what are you saying what no to? Talking about, you what are you saying no to? Out the part do you think you look good? Wait, do you think you look good? No. Yeah, I'm, I agree. Yeah, okay, I'm happy we both agree. No, I look good. That's fine. Yeah, no, you, you Yeah, you, no, you, you look terrible. You look like a dummy. You, you, you look like a little chimpanzee stupid. with little like symbols okay. slamming them together making noise. Like a little okay, wind-up cool, monkey cool. like toy. Yeah, it is. Cool. It is cool that I just embarrassed yourself you. and like, that you came I, here yeah, saying I'm a certified linguist yourself. when the you're structure of an argument yourself. doesn't turn on whether you're a linguist. It's not, not even in your domain. It's not in the the, the domain of of no, linguists that, whether an argument is valid or not. You don't know what validity is. You don't know what a row of inference is. Okay, I, I and I'm embarrassing myself. You said that I'm a pseudo intellect when I did explain how the argument's invalid. Then you said you're not a pseudo intellect when you said that I'm a logician. Then I said where are you certified from? Then you said yourself, and I'm like.
yourself and you said oh i i made myself certified and then you said i'm the pseudo intellect because i explained how an argument's so, invalid but and that, then you're not a pseudo intellect when you say that so i'm a logician because i label myself certified sarcasm. retard do you not understand sarcasm? I understand mental illness, so and I, it's transparent that you, you know, instantiate the quality position. of being mentally no, ill. Yeah, that's transparent no, to me. The, the issue, and I no, see that you're smoke screening with your lingu your I, I well purported that, certified that linguistic, because, because like your I, linguist certification, your right? Your smoke because screening with the fact it's not pertinent whether you're a linguist doesn't turn on the fact the argument's invalid, and also you're making very metaphysically robust claims, but somehow your certificate, your purported certification, linguist is like relevant no the fuck it's not it doesn't matter you're making metaphysical claims okay. and then you're using a logical system the logic the, the inference was invalid oh well the metaphysical the metaphysical claim that quantified that all things are explained by a more mon uh, fundamental force that's the metaphysical claim that's okay. one of them your entire argument makes metaphysical claims ignoring p1 because p one is not a well-formed formula p2 says yes it is everything is explained by more fundamental real, forces well that's that's a very simple statement. that's not a well-formed formula okay. Yes, it is. It is reality. Let me just okay. So then, let me just ask you. No, 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 no. I'm. I don't care about your made-up definition of well-formed formula. I'm, I'm talking about how it is defined in contemporary classical logic. Do you think it's that you're the first expression, the first premise? Reality exists. Well-formed formula and classical logic. Do you think that, or are you agnostic? Um, I mean, okay. What? It's a well-formed. I, I honestly, I don't care about your like little definition. Okay, so then you don't. Okay, so we can walk. Okay, great. So you just embarrass good, yourself. You walked back the claim. Statement. Okay, you did walk back the claim. You don't know if it's a well-formed formula. Okay, great. So now you embarrass no, yourself I again. I didn't say that. I said. Oh I wait. Said, you, okay. I said, okay. So just to clarify. Just to clarify. Like all these words. Yeah. Just. You're, you're it's not my definition. To follow your little frame. I'm not redefining that anything. You can like posture. Yes. I'm not you're redefining you're anything. all these terms. You're I didn't redefine making, any terms. It out as what terms did I redefine? Different than what I what terms said. did I redefine? As a way. As a way. Of what terms did I redefine? Statement, which is a false way of invalidating. What terms did I redefine? What terms did I redefine? I didn't redefine well, well-formed formula. You're, you're I'm using it as a logician yeah. uses it. I can give you the books I've read. I can re tell you the college books I've... Look, go to Russell Marcus's Introduction to Formal Logic. It's a 700-page book. I read the whole fucking thing. If you read that book, it's going to tell you what a well-formed formula in logic is. If you read the definition, you'll know that what I said is right. You don't know what a well-formed formula is in, is in logic. I didn't make up a definition. Russell Marcus is one of the most prominent contemporary logicians in academia right now in the field of logic. I'm not making shit up. Okay. This isn't my definition. I didn't pull it out of my ass. I, get, I got it from what I was taught, the field I was taught, formally. You can also cite Seifu Lee's books, any of his books, because he also talks about well-formed structure in well-formed formulas in all of his books, right? Because he's a writer on logic. You can also search up Graham Priest. You can search up Penelope Rush, right? In, in the metaphysics of okay. logic, when she talks okay. about logica okay. utens, she talks about whether or not there can be logica utens that are well-formed formulas. So I'm not making shit up. You're wrong about that claim. And you're just projecting. You're you don't know what it means for there to be a well-formed formula in logic. So stop lying. No, you're projecting issue, really bad. Is, really bad, actually. So no, actually, really bad. No, actually, you're projecting really bad. Point. No, I, no, no, no. No, Alfredos. Alfredos. Alfredos, you're projecting terribly. You were able, you're terribly. You were able to make an I'm not making... Yeah, I agree I'm not making an argument. I didn't no, intend to make an argument. Like, oh, well, I, don't like I agree I haven't made an argument. No, oh, yeah, dur dur, yeah, 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 uh, dur dur. When I, when you said I'm a logician because I label myself a certified logician, dur dur. I, you're also a dur dur when you say no, it's not a well-formed formula in logic because I'm a linguist. Then you don't know what a well-formed formula is in logic. And then also when you said the argument's valid and not know what a rule of inference is in logic, a dur dur, a dur dur. Yeah, we know who's the student intellect. We know who's projecting. It's very obvious. Just read a bunch of philosophy books. You think that makes you Wait, what's okay? What's the argument? Wait, where are you getting? I don't understand the argument. No, because, because okay, what's okay? What's the argument? I don't understand the argument. If you were able to understand it, then you would have been able to make an argument against it. I don't. That's not necessary. Yes, it is. Okay, because wait. Can't make an argument wait under. Okay, wait. No, 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 no. We're not going to derail. We're going to stay on that point. That's necessary. No, 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 Yeah, yeah. Okay. Wait, wait. No, no, Alfredus. No. Okay. Wait, wait. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. Calm down. Calm down. Pipe down. Pipe down. You made the claim that's necessary. Unintelligent to understand. No, no, no. Look, you made the claim that's necessary, right? You necessarily have to make a counter argument. No, you made the claim right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. Okay, right. Okay. If you no, I'm not saying it's necessary. You you did say that. You did say that. It's on recording. You said it's necessary. Okay. So now to clarify, do you think it's necessary to make a counter argument? Because 
because you're Why do I need a counter argument? actually arguing against my point. If you were capable of arguing If you knew logic, you would know I don't need a counter argument. Here, give me an argument right If you knew logic, you would know I don't need a counter argument. If you're not if you're not if you if you're not too stupid to make If you're not if you're not if you're not you you don't you don't look good. Okay, look. No, I, you know, no, yeah, I, yeah, I, I look, uh, I look better uh, than you. Uh, guess, uh, guess, uh, why? guess why? Guess why? Because you look better than me. To make a Wait, do you think? I just want to. I just want to clarify. I just want to clarify. Do you think you better than me when you said uh, I'm a logician? I'm a certified logician, and it's not a well-formed formula and logic. That's that's the only. Yeah, you look. Wait, wait, yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, you look better than me when you said when you said when you said that I'm a certified linguist, and it's not a well-formed formula and logic because I'm a certified linguist. You think you look good there? No, no, I. No. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh my God. No, I just said. Yo, I that's crazy. Nah, formula, nah, that's formula, dog, formula. dog. That's crazy, dog. No, no, nah, that's crazy, dog. No, I didn't say. It's, it to didn't you look good when you said that. According to me, it wow, is. that's crazy. To me it is. Wait, what did I do that didn't look good? Just to clarify. Okay, so what? Because you didn't look good there. Okay, okay, you, okay. you didn't look good there. Hey, but, okay, but, You're just wait, like, oh, but, but you didn't look good there. Okay, okay. I, I'll let you go. And if you, and if you were actually able, wait, where? To give okay, wait, I didn't. Wait, I didn't hear. I didn't hear. Wait, where did I? Where didn't I look good? Define it or give an argument or anything, but you uh -huh. haven't. You haven't been able. That's to do interesting. Any of yeah. That. Okay, but no, where did I look good? Wait, where did I look good? You haven't, uh -huh, you haven't you know, been able uh, to yeah. give any sort of reason, uh, 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 so you're irrational, uh, 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 logical, and uh, uh, stupid. Uh, 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 okay, so at what part didn't I look good? What was the part I didn't look good in? Yeah, you didn't look good in any of that because you couldn't. In any of that. Uh, okay, so you're one of those people who say, you, looked, you, looked um, you said something wrong there. Oh, okay, so what part of what I said was wrong? The whole thing. The whole thing. The whole thing's you wrong. Address the most, okay, yeah, okay, because okay, you still okay. Haven't given okay, so just name just name one part. If Wait, you, if if you can quantify the, enti the entire dialectic where every expression I made or communicated okay. and conveyed within the dialectic or the discourse was such that it was inaccurate, or malformed, okay, or bad, or looking bad. Just name follow, a single. You don't. Can you not recollect that. anything that you just have to say the whole thing? No. You can't remember no, a single so, part so of the conversation so, where so I, I look bad. So you, that you just said I have to keep saying the whole thing. Said, the whole thing looks you, bad. Yes, I'm saying the entire okay. thing looks oh, bad oh, for you. Yes, oh, yeah. This yeah. Entire yeah. Looks it, lo bad it looks bad. Because guess guess what? Because I asked mm -hmm. you, why doesn't it follow? Keep yapping. Yeah. You couldn't explain why. You couldn't explain. Yeah. Keep yapping. You, because yeah, you couldn't yeah, explain yeah, yeah, why yeah, because yeah, you don't yeah, yeah. because you don't know why because you're yeah, yeah, obviously you're... not intelligent enough to understand my argument. Oh, you are retarded. Okay, yeah, you're yapping. You would have yes because if you <laughs> yeah, yeah, we have, yeah, we agree. We agree. You're retarded. Uh -huh. Yeah, because you're yapping. Then, right. You, Actually, no. Yeah, it, yeah, 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 yeah you can no, understand no, the argument. Yapping, Look, if if you yap, then you're retarded. You yap, therefore you're retarded. And I can name the rule inference. I can name the rule inference. It's modus tollens. It's modus tollens. You know what? If you were, I mean, sorry, modus pundens. Sorry, yeah, sorry. Look now, I look. I agree. I look bad right there when I, I named the wrong row of inference. It was modus ponens, my bad. Yeah, the, so I have a valid argument that if you yap, which okay. you did, if you yapped then you're retard, you yapped, therefore you're retard, right? And it's modus ponens. You yapped? Okay. Okay, you're retard. Okay. Well, you, you yapped a lot more than I did. No, no, I didn't yap because everything you said was irrelevant. You said I didn't understand the argument. I did understand the argument. And I also understood okay, how the well, argument then, was invalid. If you did understand I understood the how the argument was in, I am valid. The clause in, like, well, I don't negation. Like how you the argument. Without it's not about like. I actually like, no, like. actually that's wrong. I actually like the fact the argument was malstructured, right? Okay, and why did you like the argument? Oh, I love the fact that the argument was malstructured so I can laugh at um, someone who possessed a mental illness named Alfredus. There you go, sir. Okay, cool story, bro. So yeah, I know, right? So I want, Wait, so I want you to which part down. was your favorite? I want like you to the plot twist, the climax, the resolution. Upset. I want you to calm Let's down. analyze the, the narrative of the dialectic. <laughs> I'm not upset, actually. I think this is hilarious. I'm getting great content right now. This is one of the the very the rare bully contents I get on my channel. I, I, want you to I rarely bully people. Argument and I usually just debate substantively follow. with actually philosophically stupid people. It's very rare I get a pseudo intellect who thinks that they have a purported, uh, you know, certification in linguistics, which is an entirely dissonant field that they can just like make claims out of their ass. I think it's hilarious. And the fact I'm bullying you is actually like so funny, dog. Not like it's actually hilarious. I'm like, dude, I'm getting, okay, <laughs> I'm like sorry, getting bro. an intellectual erection over here, dog. It's crazy. Okay. Okay. So if you okay, I want uh -huh. you to go through the original argument and mm -hmm. explain why it isn't valid. Yes, and sir. Then all, and then we can have like a yes, normal master. conversation. Instead, it's okay. I'm African American. You got angry. I didn't get mad. Yelled, I laughed and, at you. And you used pseudo intellectual verbiage. What pseudo intellectual verbiage? You brought up a bunch of logical principles as if they're relevant to my argument. So how does that make it pseudo intellectual if it actually is a principle of the system of the logic? It's not pseudo intellect. Because it's not pseudo-intellectual. Okay. 
right? It's an actual because facet I'm of the system. Oh, okay. So now, oh, so you just use idiosyncratic language, language and you say that? No, because because uh -huh. it's not it's not an actual uh -huh. science. So it's not like it's not uh -huh. an actual like field. Oh, but you understand that philosophy of science is necessary to establish science, right? The norms that govern. Not really. Oh, okay, not wait. Really. Not, not in the not in wait. Not the kind oh, of oh, really? You're wait, to. you understand it's the scientific not, not method wasn't made by science. Made by philosophy of science. You know that, okay, right? Cool. So yeah, the so pseudo intellectual good, field good method of doing things. What's uh huh. Your point? Okay. 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 Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a pseudo intellectual field. Pseudo intellectual fields can make real fields. Apparently, that that's mm -hmm. intelligent. Mm -hmm. You can derive. That you can derive. Arguing, yeah, you can derive non. In, in, yeah, you can derive. Wait, I'm curious because typically when you derive something right from a wrong, is that not just like, like a fallacy of source? You know what that fallacy is called? I can name it for you if you want. Okay, go ahead. Oh, you want me to? Yeah, no, I wanted I've, this whole time. I've been wanting you to point out the fallacies and point out what um, the issue is with my argument. The it's argument doesn't have any rules of inference. Philosophy. That's the okay, argument. So explain, don't explain, have explain, rules of explain what rules of inference are missing. Um, every single one of them that you can read on the okay, wiki well, list or SCP okay, list so or IE list so of I rules want of you inference. I to go through sir, the argument and point out the actual mm -hmm. issues with it. Okay, well, the argument, my issues with the argument is, um, well, ignoring the first premise, because only a retard who claims to lie about knowing what a well-formed formula is in logic and then uses their, uh, okay. you know, pseudo-certification cool in story. linguists as their cool verification. But I, I ignoring the first premise... Sorry, you're over-talking me. I'm trying to explain, sir. Yeah, so the reason okay. why... Okay, okay so ahead. I take the, the two premises of the argument. Uh, this, this is now a syllogism, ignoring the first premise. Oh, no, I think it was four? I don't remember. Whatever. The point is, the argument... Um, I took every premise of the argument to be false, or I'm unconvinced of them. And the argument structure was a non-sequitur. Mm -hmm. Okay. And so, the reason why I uh, take it the arguments invalid is because I have a higher high prior probability when I do Bayesian analysis to, to my web of experiences because I'm formally educated in logic that I can I have a strong intuition, strong intuition in detecting logical structure because I had to have done logical, you know, analysis. Okay, so, so I could detect so let, when an argument's invalid. So, so I don't even need I don't even need to claim the argument's valid. Invalid. I can walk back to claiming actually what the rules of inference are. You don't know, so, and then you would just embarrass yourself. But the argument is invalid, or, or at least I can say I have a strong intuition. Um, you know, if I'm foundationalist too, in, in epistemology so, too, so, I would be justified even my semen. So yes but no. I'm not. I'm not actually. Um, I'm actually not foundationalist. But that doesn't matter. Yes or no? Um, no. I don't know what that means. You don't know what reality means. No, that that's not a coherent expression. Bye bye. Yeah, because existence is a quantifier, not a predicate. So reality can't exist. Also, real just is trivially in most, you know, theories of truth, a synonym for real. So of course reality exists. Retard. Um, but this is one of the very, very rare bullying things. Um, yeah. Have a nice one, y'all.